It's Monday, brothers, and that means it's time to talk rumours, as we always do. And today, we're going to be going over a bit more about the Blood Angels. The Whispers from the Warp has been whispering more new Blood Angel models, even more new Blood Angel models added to the previous Whispers of new Blood Angel models. And we're going to go down that rabbit hole, of course, and talk a little bit more about Agents of the Imperium. I am hearing that there is a certain Inquisitor, which we've been talking about now for so long, that he's definitely getting a model. So let's jump in and let's get waffling remember what i always say when it comes to these videos rumors are rumors please take them as that don't take them as facts okay all rumors are lies until games workshop post it themselves take it for what it is a rumor and not a fact now let's jump in and let's start with agents of the imperium and i want to talk about a character that i've been talking about for months and months i speculated that they were going to get a new model and i've even heard it from the whispers of the warp that uh, they got to get a new model and now i'm hearing a description of the model which adds even more evidence to it and that is of course inquisitor kotiaz for people who don't know who kotiaz is i'll put his model in the background now he's one of the old school inquisitor models he's really really big in the law and what has happened recently in the law with Vashtor's return, it's Kotiaz who has activated all his agents and he's currently seeking where Vashtor is. I think he's got to play a big part in the battle against Vashtor, also maybe with the lion himself because he became in the lion story and maybe he's got to get involved with the lion's return. Maybe he's the one who brings the lion's story back to the greater Imperium and tells everyone the lion has indeed returned. Now, the description I'm getting or I'm hearing through the whispers of the warp is that this model is going to look very stoic. Like the word Dornian pose was brought up, Dawn from the Horus Heresy, like one of his, um, or both of his hands or something to do with his hands is resting on his thunder hammer he looks like really like looking out into the distance looking like a complete badass and uh, the famous eagle or double-headed eagle that was always sitting on his arm is apparently now flying around the model um which sounds really really cool i definitely look forward to see what else we get with agents of the imperium and again I've, I've heard like some stuff with assassins i don't know how true that is or anything like that again if people are listening to this for the first time apparently what's happening with agents of the imperium is that there's going to be free battle force box sets releasing with that codex release each of those box sets are going to be designed after one of the inquisitorial ordos the Ordo malleus xenos and hereticus now i know a lot of people keep asking me when is this going to be shown off when is this coming out i've said the redacted codex that's supposed to be releasing this summer i personally believe that is the agents of the imperium codex we do have a really big games workshop or should i say a tabletop event next month i don't know where it is and what state it's in but it's supposed to be around the 19th 20th of july and i predict around that time they're probably going to do a reveal show maybe attached to this event and there we'll probably see things like the brand new agents of the Imperium Codex. We may see stuff to do with Kill Team and, you know, the Tempest is Scions and all that stuff I've mentioned before. Maybe even Old World showing off the potential Chaos and High Elf stuff, um, which we've talked about on streams and everything like that. So, yeah, there's still a lot more to be shown off. And, of course, um, the big thing, which people keep asking me, is the Mark II box set. I don't think that's going to be shown off this year. I hope for it. Like, I really hope it is. But I see that probably sometimes next year or something like that but anyway we're moving away from the subject um i predict another reveal show next uh, month and we're probably going to see a lot of stuff revealed then moving on to the blood angels i have put some timestamps down below in case you want to skip to the new new stuff in the blood angels i'm just going to quickly go over the blood angel rumors because people always keep asking me what else is coming for the blood angels for people who are not aware apparently there's going to be a brand new sanguinary regard there's going to be a brand new limati's model there's supposed to be a brand new astroaf model um coming out there's supposed to be a blood angel box set which is supposed to be death company themed and in that box set there's supposed to be a brutalis dreadnought the lamartis models are uh, supposed to be in there and uh, if i'm not mistaken jump assault intercessors are supposed to be in that box as well themed on the death company persona and adding to those new models i am now hearing from the whispers of the warp apparently there's supposed to be a brand new blood angel captain added to this i did hear months and months and months ago that was supposed to be a brand new sanguinary priest 
as well. Um, those rumors kind of faded out, and now I'm hearing like these rumors about a captain. I'm not sure if like the captain and the priest are getting mixed up here. Uh, but again, the way that this was described to me, it was like that common blood angel kind of look where you like it's all muscly on the armor and stuff like that. What we expect from like some of the higher HQ models in the Blood Angels chapter. And staying with that captain for a second, because it adds on to the next whisper from the warp, and that is all about the brand new Blood angel combat patrol the whispers are saying that brand new captain is supposed to be in there there's supposed to be a squad of brand new sanguinary guard in that box and also there's supposed to be a squad of assault intercessors that's what i've heard for now maybe there's going to be a little bit more added to it but that's what i'm hearing so far from the whispers of the warp now when it comes to the sanguinary guard this is another big talking point because i keep getting questions asked about this because again i've heard through the whispers the description of the sanguinary guard and i kind of don't want this to be true because apparently the sanguinary guard going forward are going to lose their wings and what i mean by their wings is that of course like, like they're still gonna have jump packs and stuff like that but if you look at the old sanguinary guard now they have like angelic wings that stick out of their jump packs apparently what's happening now is that with this primaris upgrade to the sanguinary guard they're supposed to have like little like little flaps um like into um uh, inceptor flaps and stuff like that which, we, which we've seen on backpacks before and like the wings are supposed to be engraved on those flaps so the loot like the losing also they're supposed to be losing like the big flappy flappy wings and getting like little wings engraved on the the flaps <laughs> the jump the jump flags i don't know if I'm, I'm i'm describing it right but basically what what i've heard is that the big big wings are more or less going the way of the dodo and also adding to the sanguine regard and this could be quite controversial if it does turn out to be true and it's about the squad size right now if you buy sanguine regard they come in a squad of five if i'm not mistaken and the whispers from the warp are saying they're going to be cut down and they're going to be coming in squads of three this is like kind of mirroring like the inner circle companions and stuff like that like for like the elite elite troops um of course i absolutely dislike that if it does turn out to be true i want as many models as i can for you know the the price that we're paying for gw models um there was something else in terms of weapons as well like it was whispered apparently they are getting like some type of gray knight um like halberd a part of their weapon i don't know how true it is um the wrist mounts uh bolters are, are, are still a thing and stuff like that apparently um but yeah there's a lot to talk about with the sanguinary guard and um i'm hoping like those rumors of the of the actual squad being cut down in size is all just absolute lies because that's the last thing we want is less models for the more money we pay for these gw models and some of you in chat are probably going to be asking well when is the bloody angel stuff due out and um your guess is as good as mine i've heard anything from this summer so i'm going to say from this summer towards the end of the year if i was a betting person and then again this is just me this is just me giving my own thoughts on this this is not the whispers of the warp or anything like that maybe that this box set is going to launch around november time because we always get like a special edition box set don't we around november time uh you know we've had it with black templars sisters of battle uh, the votan the imperial guard maybe this time it's going to be dedicated to the blood angels and this is going to be like the special box set and then the rest of the stuff is going to be coming out you know a few months later um for the rest of the general population uh to get their hands on again that's just pure speculation on my part i'm just going to say it's either going to be coming um from the end of summer to sometime towards the end of this year again that is just me anyway thank you for coming thank you for watching if you've got any thoughts feedback anything like that um leave it down below and i'll do my best to try and answer them talk about it and stuff and uh yeah Hopefully, all this gets revealed very, very soon and we can lose ourselves to the hype and stuff like that. There's nothing better than seeing new models, in my opinion, because I absolutely love the models. I know there's a lot to talk about with the rules and stuff. People keep asking me about um, some of the new rules that GW has just introduced of, like, pivot in, pivot, and stuff like that. Um... Maybe I'll do a video on how I feel about the GW rule set. This is coming from a casual player, someone who plays for fun, rather not like the tournament scene and like beating people just to feel good about themselves. Um, I don't know. Is that something people would want me to do? I'm not really in it for the rules. I'm just in it to have fun and play with 
you know, little models and pretend that I'm Rogel Dawn. Um, anyway, thank you for watching. Thank you for coming. See you now. Have a great day and bye-bye.